Hi guys! So, my name's Shemima and today I'm going to be performing, performing, um, doing this makeup look. Obviously this is the first ever video I will be putting up on YouTube. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I did that as my first video going on, up on YouTube. I wanted to kind of make it very me, like something that I would normally do if I was doing makeup look and this is something I probably normally do, like nude lip, dramatic eye, wing full coverage face. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like this video, subscribe. Um, I'll link all most all products I use down below and I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, so I'm just gonna start by moisturizing my face. The Neutrogena <laughs> um, Hydro Boost Water Gel. Okay, I know that just did not show us. Um, so once I've moisturised, I'm gonna go in and do my eyebrows first. Um, so I use the Anastasia Dip Brow in the shade Ebony. Brush through them first, you know, from whatever hair I actually have. Okay, you, you're not gonna... Cheers. I feel like eyebrows are like the way to tell me if my makeup's gonna go good today or not. It's like how I rely on. Yeah, okay, they look really uneven right now. That was cute. But hey, eyebrows are meant to be sisters, not twins. Obviously, you don't want them to be distant cousins, but you know. So once I've kind of like shaped them, filled them in, I go in with any concealer, any like you know, creamy skin concealer. So today I'm just using the Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Fair Neutral. I feel so tired. Okay, there we go. Oh, okay. I can just I can just feel the spots. It's really not nice. I'm literally having. So I decided. Okay, this week, Jemima, you're gonna you're gonna film and I forgot that because of my exams I have like the worst breakouts because apparently I'm stressed I mean I don't particularly feel like it all the time um especially when they first came up I was like I'm not stressed so it was like why am I shit okay okay so that's them eyebrows done anyway next I'm going to go in with the MAC soft ochre pro longwear paint pot in this shade I said soft ochre there you go um, that's the eyes primed oh my god you know what I feel like I look like I look like a cartoon character like the turtle has the green pack back I can't like I can't think of his name but yeah I feel like him right now I'm gonna set it with the Rimmel stain matte setting powder I quite impressed that I remember the name of that like Considering the fact that it's like rubbed off, I'm gonna start with the eyes. So, oh, I love this song. First of all, I'm gonna go in the Tarte palette and I'm gonna use the shade uh, Transition Shade Force of Nature, which is that one there. Okay, I just know that color was like completely off in the image. Um, but yeah. So then we're gonna go in with the. So we're gonna use the Morphe, I think it's the 350 palette. It doesn't have the name, oh yeah, 350. Okay, 350. <sighs> and we're gonna go in with like a kind of orangey yellow shade, which is this one here. And we're just gonna go in with the same brush that we used before, really lightly. And then put that again all over the lid. I'm gonna go in with golden or ochre, I think, golden ochre from the Modern Renaissance palette, which is that shade there. Yeah. I'm gonna go in with an like orangey. We're gonna mix two colours. So back to the 350 palette, we're gonna use this like, okay it looks a lot more red there, but it's like quite a, it's 
quite like an orangey like it's a br it's like a bright orange but with like a little red undertone I'm gonna just put like a big blending brush. I'm also gonna use real gar real gar from the modern renaissance palette which is this one here and then we're just gonna kind of put it more okay that came out very bright like, we're just gonna put it on the lid but then kind of focus more in the crease we're just gonna go back in that brush that we used before and then just kind of blend make sure all the colors are blended in together and we're gonna take red ochre or whatever the hell it is uh, from the modern renaissance palette which is this red color here it's like a really strong you know like bright red and we're just gonna put that on the lid okay so once it's literally just on the crease we're gonna go back in with that brush actually no we're gonna go in with this brush where we use the orange and just try to kind of blend it so obviously it's not like a sharp line we're gonna mix these two very shimmery colors it's like a that's like a red and that's kind of like a burnt orange oh what's it called like copper yeah copper shimmer and we're gonna go in with like a really thin brush So I'm just gonna clean it up with uh, whatever these are called. And I just use any like makeup cleaner. I go in firstly with my Stilo um, Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Liner in black. And honestly, this eyeliner has literally changed my life. It's amazing. There you go. That is actually a really impressive wing. I'm quite impressed with that. The one yesterday was utter shit. So we're just gonna go in this one now. So next we're gonna go in with mascara. Oh, it's actually the music. I thought someone was knocking. That just freaked me out, I'm not gonna lie. First I go in with the Maybelline Great Lash. Black, blackest black mascara. And then I go with the Maybelline Lash Sensational with oil blend. Um, multiplying effect mascara and honestly this this is like amazing so I'm just gonna put on my really stylish hairband I'm just gonna prime first so I use a mix of primers um, obviously I use my holy grail which has been like for a, oh my god for like a year now uh, the Nivea Men Fresh and Cool Apps Shade Balm. Honestly, like if you have not heard about this, like being a great primer, I don't know if where you've been. Like honestly, such a good primer. But the one thing I will say against it is that it opens up your pores, and then obviously if you're wearing makeup, that's gonna go into your pores and then it just clogs up your pores and it's just not nice. So I use the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. So I'm gonna go in with this one first. And I'm just gonna put this on my nose, my chin, and my forehead. And then I just pull this on to your face and then I'm gonna, uh, with a brush, I'm gonna wanna blend it in with a the brush. There you go. So that's now blended in. I'm gonna go in with a mix of two of my holy grails so I'm gonna first go in with the no I'm gonna go with this one first this is the Maybelline Super Stay 24 hour fresh look longwear foundation microflex technology in the shade 10 ivory looks like that and then I'm gonna go in with after I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Stay Fresh Foundation Fights Makeup Meltdown in the shade 145 for his beige. So go in with like a big blending brush, and I will obviously link these down below. The L'Oreal one. Just a few pumps. And then I'm just gonna use my 
damn beauty blender. So next I'm gonna go in with concealer and I'm gonna use two different ones because obviously Jemima has to use two pink slides. So. Um I'm gonna first of all use the Fit Me Maybelline one because it's honestly so good in the shade 15 because 15 is lighter than 10 apparently it's a little weird but you know and then when I purchased the 10 one and I was like this is a bit too dark for me you know okay so once we put that on I'm gonna go in with a tiny bit of the Pro Longwear Concealer um, from MAC in the shade NC15 and I'm gonna use a brush to apply that it's just like the tiny oh okay sometimes it comes out really fast put that in the same places put that <laughs> and then I'm gonna go with a different beauty. Once we've done that, we're gonna go in with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder in the shade Worn. It's like translucent. Tap some into the pot, and then it looks like that. It's like really mini. And then we're just gonna put our beauty blender in there and just go under the eye, and then whatever's left I just go in with like a big brush dab it in okay tap that off because it's hot and then just literally because it matches your skin as well I'm gonna use the by style essential all about face concealer corrector palette and palette okay that's in French I forget that but it's like it's just this it's like that and then when you open it up, I haven't actually used many of the colours yet, but it's really good, like I love it. Um, it just looks like that, you know, like here we've got like the colours like purple, green, pink, and we've got all like concealers, as you can tell which ones I've used the most. Um, and then I'm just going to go in with a, like a brush. This is the brush I actually got with it. The thing I like about this is like, it's really creamy and soft, so like it actually blends like a dream. And then I'm just gonna use this brush here. Yeah. And then next, I'm gonna go in with my Real Techniques Hundred Brush to bronze. And honestly, this brush is just beautiful. Um, so I'm gonna kind of use two. I'm gonna use the Beach Bronzer Urban Decay one. Yeah, it's just really nice. Um, and then I'm gonna use the Hula Benefit Bronzer. And it's gonna go with my favorite part. And we're gonna use the Anastasia Beverly uh, Hills Moon Child glow kit this is honestly like this changed my life it's beautiful so i'm gonna use a fan brush and i'm gonna go in first with purple horse hoe which is like this purple one i don't i've never really used it before and i've used it once really nice it's so pretty oh my god oh, i like my brow bone I'm just gonna go in with this brush here just a really small brush um, and we're just gonna dip it in this white shade here I mean you probably could use that but I, like the glow kit but I don't know why I don't so I just use that MUA one of the palettes and then just use that white shade here we're just gonna go back in with what we like put the powder on with just brush that out away. Okay, and then we just gotta do under the eyes. So we're gonna go back in with the modern uh, the Morphe 350. We're gonna use that orange shade. No, okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the the, the shade above it, which is kind of it's still orange, but it's a little less bright. I'm just gonna go in with this side of the Urban Decay brush. 
is thinner so you can get one to find. I'm just gonna this side where we use the red. Like we're not gonna put any more um shadow onto it, we're just gonna kind of blend out with it. No, we're just gonna go with lips. I'm just gonna do like a neutral because like a nude because I always you know do nude. I'm gonna use the Malibu liner. I'm just gonna put this right on. There you go. That is the finished look. 